To get acquainted with R, let's do some basic calculations. We can add numbers, multiply numbers, and we can invoke built-in functions to do more complex calculations. So R is good at calculations, but we don't want to type in all of our data. Instead, we'll often store our data into R objects. In a later video, we'll load in larger data objects, but for now, let's create some simple R objects. Let's save the value 4 to an object called x. Usually we use a less than symbol followed by a dash to communicate that we want to save something, like a number, into an R object. Now we can use x to do some basic calculations. For example, x times x. Or we can calculate the square root of x. Note that sometimes people might call x a variable. So think of the terms object and variable as meaning the same thing in R. The names of R objects can include letters, numbers, underscores, and periods. However, the name should always start with a letter, usually one that is lowercase. If you'll be sharing your code with others, check with your group to see if there's a style guide that you should follow for your R code. One last tip. If you want to review an earlier command you made, click the command line on the R console and then hit the up arrow on your keyboard. When you do this, you will be able to see earlier commands you have run and, if you desire, you can rerun them. In the next video, we'll create and work with vectors in R.